After logging in, we can create a new sync project. First select a process template, then give the process a name. And select the endpoints for the synchronization. Next, we can configure the endpoints with the server credentials and check the connection. Select the tool project and the item type. Now we configure the second endpoint the same way. In the next step we set up the attribute mapping. Based on the selected source field type, target fields are already filtered. Here we select the sync direction, and how conflicts should be handled. Now we are ready. In this case, the assignee, we want to sync back from Azure to Jira, so we choose the other direction. Priority, is an enum field. So we define a default value for that. With a double click on the priority mapping, we enter into the value mapping for the other priority values. You can see we can also map the same value multiple times, when we have different number of values on both sides. When using a time-based synchronization, we can enter here the intervals for the schedule. Now the configuration work is done, let's see what happened. The first three objects, tasks, are configured now for the sync. And we also want to take over the comments to Azure, as well as the username for the creator of this item. Switching to Azure, we see the sync items after a refresh. You can see there is a comment and the creator name. And again the comment from Jira now we can assign the item for a person to perform the task. Then we are going back to Jira after another sync. And see, that the assignee appears also here. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about our products, please contact us at any time.